Hi again, this is Birgit Penzenstadler. So, one of my teachers said a couple of days ago, remember, this is it. We're all just walking each other home. That's a quote by Ram Dass. There may not be another day of sunshine. And we are more than just our bodies and our minds. We are connected to everything around us. Remembering that is a comforting thought. It may not always be easy to live into that. Because the day after, my grandmother asked me, well, what purpose is there in life when you're just hanging out by yourself all day? She's 97 and so she's lived quite a life. And I hear I hear her in her loneliness very much. And I responded, maybe the purpose is to get curious about the little things in each moment that we can find joy in and that we can be grateful for. Maybe it's in seeing that butterfly go past the window. Maybe it's in sending a smile to someone. Maybe it is in feeling the rays of sunlight on our skin. And at the same time, while there is a lot of comfort in, in resting in the present moment and feeling these little things, there is a very active analytical mind that creeps in and says, but what about the bigger vision? What about where I'm going? What about all these things that we tend to reason about all day in our heads? And another teacher of mine said to that, if you get thrown off from the big thing that you wanted to accomplish, that vision, maybe that vision isn't strong enough yet. So there is a chance to reflect. Where are my blind spots when I get thrown off? Where am I maybe not taking full responsibility yet? Now can I change that to turn my vision into the strongest thing that is pulling me forward and that makes me feel like I am on purpose and purpose driven during the day and whenever. <laughs> and it comes back down to what do I want to practice? Do I want to practice feeling on purpose, moving towards something? Or do I practice not feeling good about something? Do I focus on that part? Because that kills our momentum as well. Then we're not just not in the present moment because we're hanging out in the past or in the future. But we're also not feeling great about that. And so this boils down to the question, how much can I anchor myself into the present moment with a positive vision of the future and anchor into that positive vision that then creates that feeling in our body of that positivity which then influences our thought patterns and there goes in a snowball effect. So I want to send you along with this. What is the part that you want to practice and reinforce today? Go for it.